Good morning. We welcome you to Beckman Catholic High School today for our 2023 Senior Awards Assembly. We are glad to have a lot of parents and other supporters here today, as well as uh, individuals representing uh, organizations that have provided scholarships to our students that we will announce throughout the day. Students, just uh, seniors in particular, just a housekeeping item. 
As you receive your award, you'll come up here on stage to be recognized, unless we just ask you at that one to stand in your place. If you're asked to come up on stage after you've received your award, we want you to then go out the door here to my left, your right. Mr. Wade will be in the hallway to take pictures of you out there as well, and then we'll have those later as well. So then you'll take photos and then come back through the door over here and then come back to your seat as well. Before we begin today, we'd ask you to please rise for prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, we thank you for gathering us today. We thank you for the opportunity to recognize our students for their great accomplishments as they strive for physical, academic, and spiritual excellence as, they, as we form them as disciples today at Saints for Eternity in line with our school's mission and vision. Please bless those who are here today with us. Guide our guide this ceremony as we recognize the great accomplishments our students have achieved. We ask for the intercession of Mary, seat of wisdom, our patroness, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The first award today is the Outstanding Iowa American Citizen Award. The Iowa Outstanding American Citizen Award recipient, selected by the faculty of Beckman Catholic, is a student who has consistently demonstrated the qualities and characteristics essential for good citizenship, civic awareness, leadership, and community service. The 2023 Iowa Outstanding American Citizen Award is presented by the faculty to Elizabeth Knipper. The Archbishop Beckman Award was established 25 years ago and is awarded to a student who in the judgment of the faculty exemplifies the qualities of outstanding citizenship and character. The 2023 Archbishop Beckman Award recipient is Trista Schmidt. At this time, I would ask Mr. Todd Troutman, as well as Patty Dyer, class of 1980, to please come forward for the Distinguished Athlete Awards. The Beckman Distinguished Athlete Award will be presented by Patty Dyer. These awards go to one male and one female athlete who exhibit the personal traits of courage, poise, self-confidence, and leadership while performing as a varsity athlete. This year's male and female Beckman Distinguished Award Athlete Awards are accompanied with a $1,500 scholarship, which is donated by the recipients of the 1980 Female and Male Beckman Distinguished Athlete Award, Patricia Wilbur Dyer and J.C. Bruckner. The 2023 Beckman Female Distinguished Athlete Award and the recipient of the scholarship for college tuition expenses is Shay Stephan. Distinguished Athlete Award and recipient of the scholarship for college tuition expenses is Luke Shields. We thank Patty and JC in the time that they've been uh, giving this award. Over eighteen thousand dollars has been donated to our students, so please give them a round of applause. This time we'd ask Staff Sergeant Nathaniel Hawkins to please come up as we will award the Marine Corps Awards. Mr. Troutman will first award the Distinguished Athletes. 
The United States Marine Corps Distinguished Athlete Awards are awarded to distinguished varsity male and female athletes who clearly demonstrate his or her best efforts to excel in all areas of physical fitness and athletic competition. This year's 2023 male recipient of the U.S. Marine Corps Award is Patrick Gallagher. Our 2023 female recipient of the U.S. Marine Corps Distinguished Athlete is Jenna Lansing. The United States Marine Corps also awards a Scholastic Excellence Award. This goes to the individual who shows scholastic excellence and self-discipline. United States Marine Corps Academic Excellence recipient this year is Spencer Ray. The Duane Ott Teal Memorial Scholarship presented by Michael Ott and Amanda Pins. If they are here, they can come up. They are children of Duane. Duane was a former Dyersville resident and inspired many and was a light to many as well. She was a parent of Beckman Catholic graduates with outstanding work ethic, interpersonal skills, technical expertise, and personality. This scholarship is provided to one Beckman Catholic senior who demonstrates these positive characteristics of Duane and her children. The Duane Octil Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Elise White. The Iowa Financial Know-How Challenge Senior Scholarship is awarded to students who completed two online tools, the Student Loan Game Plan and the Return on College Investment. The Beckman Catholic recipient for this scholarship is Grace Kelly. Education is the great equalizer in our society. The ideals of educational opportunity and access are land-grant ideals that were pioneered in Iowa when the nation's first land-grant college was founded and evolved into Iowa State University. The best example of this can be found in Iowa State University's largest privately funded scholarship, the Christina Hickson Opportunity Awards. The goal of native, Iowa native Christina Hickson is to reach out to students and families in each Iowa county and provide tuition awards to incoming first year students. The students selected to have been recommended because of their potential and their personal desire to move forward and succeed in higher education and beyond. On behalf of Iowa State University, I'm proud to present this award to the 2023 re recipient from Dubuque County, Olivia Metzen. Iowa State University Extension and Outreach supports a number of youth programs in Delaware County, including the 4-H program. Each year, ISU Extension in Delaware County administers a limited number of scholarships to honor outstanding 4-H members who are graduating from high school. Jill Cahill of the Delaware County 4-H Board will be present this morning to present these scholarships. The Delaware County 4-H Food Stand set up a scholarship fund several years ago to encourage active Delaware County 4-H members to pursue post-secondary educational goals on their way to successful careers. The success of the 4-H Food Stand at the county fair is partially due to the hard work and dedication 
of the 4-H members and their families. This year, a Delaware County 4-H food stand scholarship is presented to Grace Kelly. Grace, we'll have you stay there for a second. David Knipper has been a longtime supporter of the Delaware County 4-H program. He devoted many years volunteering and giving back to youth involved in 4-H. David had a strong passion for the dairy industry and enjoyed serving on the dairy committee for many years. In his memory, his family has established a scholarship to an outstanding 4-H member. This year's David Knipper Alumni Memorial 4-H Scholarship recipient is Grace Kelly. The Schober family has been loyal supporters of 4-H through several generations. They have volunteered countless hours to the youth of the county. To honor James and Francis Schober, devoted volunteers and leaders, the family presents a scholarship to a senior 4 -er. This year's recipient of the James R. and Francis Schober Memorial Scholarship is Grace Kelly. Roger and Jody Helmerts continue to be devoted supporters of all extension and outreach programs. They have a strong passion for the Delaware County 4-H program and have volunteered much of their time to help make this program successful. This year's scholarship was established to award a high school senior who has been an excellent 4-H member, but also finds the time to be involved in other community activities. The scholarship is given to a 4-H member continuing their education in an environmental related field of study. The recipient of the Roger and Jody Helmerts 4-H scholarship is Olivia Menson. The Delaware County 4-H Foundation has established five scholarships for Delaware County 4-H members who have strong academic, community service, and 4-H participation records. Two of this year's Delaware County 4-H Foundation scholarships are awarded to Ellie Raker and Leah Thier. The Tinker family has been longtime supporters of the Delaware County 4-H program. Through their generous donation, a scholarship has been established. This scholarship recognizes an individual with strong academic achievement and 4-H participation who is pursuing a major in an agricultural field. The recipient of the Tinker Family Memorial 4-H Scholarship is Leah Thier. The Delaware County Pork Producers are proud to award scholarships to two Beckman Catholic seniors who will be pursuing a career in agriculture. The recipients of Delaware County Pork Producer Scholarships are Olivia Menson and Charlie Wolfgold. The Grand River Medical Group Scholarship is intended to encourage students to pursue a career in healthcare. This scholarship is awarded to Jenna Lansing. The Decker Concrete and Advanced Precast Company Start to Work Incentive is a financial award for graduating high school seniors planning on entering the workforce or trade school program after graduation. Priority is given to students who are directly entering the workforce. Decker Concrete and Advanced Precast are proud to provide this award to Mason Kelker. We have a representative from Fidelity Bank and Trust here this morning. Fidelity Bank and Trust has 33 branches located in Iowa, Illinois, and Wisconsin. Fidelity takes pride in their dedication to the communities they serve and as well as its commitment to its community schools. 
This year's Beckman Catholic recipients of the Fidelity Bank and Trust Scholarship are Tessa Tauke and Leah Thier. This time I'd ask Jim Klosterman on behalf of DuPaco to please come to the stage. On behalf of DuPaco's R.W. Hafer Foundation, Jim Klosterman, DuPaco Dyersville Branch Managers, please to present two deserving students each with a $2,000 college scholarship. Scholarship applications are judged on academic achievements, extracurricular involvement, and an essay or video submission. Congratulations to the DuPaco R.W. Hafer Foundation Scholarship recipients, Grace Kelly and Trista Schmidt. The National Merit Scholarship Competition begins with students taking the qualifying test during their junior year. Approximately 4% of the competitors are named semifinalists in August of their senior year. By demonstrating distinguished performance in classes on the ACT test their senior year, they can earn finalist status. Beckman senior Evelyn Sadler earned National Merit final Finalist Standing. We would ask that you please come forward to accept your Certificate of Merit. Clarence Greep Scholarship is given in memory of Professor Clarence Greep, who taught U.S. history and government at the University of Dubuque in the 1960s and 1970s until his untimely death. He was a strong advocate for world peace, tolerance, and fairness. Professor Greep valued commitment to one's beliefs, was a veteran of World War II, and active in the Dubuque County Democratic Party, serving as the party's research chair. Clarence Greep Scholarship Fund is now part of the nonpartisan Community Foundation of Greater Dubuque and awards a scholarship to a graduating senior from each of Dubuque County's high schools. This year's Beckman Catholic seniors receiving the Clarence Group scholarships are Elizabeth Knipper and Tessa Tauke. ask Ed Gibbs to come forward from the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association for the Chaplain Jim Bur Burley Hansel Memorial Scholarship. The Chaplain Jim Burley Hansel Memorial Scholarships are presented by Ed Gibbs from the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association. This scholarship is awarded to an individual who has an affiliation with the United States military or has a close relative with an affiliation with the United States military. The 2023 Chaplain Jim Burley Hansen Memorial Scholarship recipient is Beckman Catholic Senior Leah Thier. <laughs> That's Danny Lane to please come forward on behalf of Three Rivers FS. Three Rivers FS scholarships recipients must be an FFA member pursuing a two or four year degree in an agriculture related field. This year's recipients of the Three Rivers Farm Service scholarships are Tessa Tauke, Spencer Ray, and Ellie Raker. Congratulations. <laughs>
The Dubuque County Farm Bureau Scholarship is awarded to a senior that is an active member in the Dubuque County Farm Bureau who is enrolling in a two or four year college pursuing a career in an agricultural related field. Beckman's Catholics recipients are Jake Hafler and Spencer Ray. Dubuque County Right to Life awards scholarships to students planning to attend a college and who participated in the Life in a Post-Row America Meeting the Challenges Finding Opportunities speech contest and who have participated in Right to Life service opportunities. Glad to have Mr. Payne here with us this morning to present these on behalf of Dubuque County Right to Life. Beckman Catholic seniors receiving a Dubuque County Right to Life scholarship are Evelyn Sadler, John Paul Grebner and Jenna Lansing. Jenna also received the Dubuque County Right to Life's People's Choice Award for her speech. The Innovative Ag Services Scholarship is awarded to a student who wishes to pursue a degree in agriculture. The winner of one of the Innovative Ag Services Scholarships is Lauren Cherney. <laughs> We're pleased to have Mr. Jack Friedman here with it from Innovative Egg Services as well. Innovative Egg Services also awards the Friedman Scholarship. The Friedman Scholarship is sponsored by retired CEO Jack Friedman and is awarded to an individual who shows exceptional leadership qualities as well as a desire to make a difference in the field of agriculture. Mr. Jack Friedman is presenting the Innovative Egg Services Friedman Scholarship to Leah Thier. The Delaware County Republican Scholarship is awarded to three graduating seniors who reside in Delaware County and have demonstrated high academic achievement, strong character and responsibility, and completed an essay on why I am proud to be an American. The recipient of one of these scholarships is Beckman Catholic Senior Ellie Raker. The following award is made on behalf of Northwest Missouri State University. Northwest Missouri State University is proud to present a Tower Scholar Bearcat Award to Beckman Catholic Senior Patrick Gallagher. <laughs> Headquartered in Waterloo, Iowa, the VGM Group is a 100% employee owned company providing business and professional services to thousands of companies across the United States and Canada. VGM annually awards multiple scholarships to high school seniors of current employees with a minimum GPA of 3.0 who are pursuing post-secondary education. Recipients are selected on their involvement in the community, extracurricular activities, letters of recommendation, and are on their personal essay. VGM believes in the power of education to change lives and transform lives and transform communities. VGM congratulates all Beckman Catholic graduates and is thrilled to award a Waterloo Community Foundation VGM scholarship to Patrick Gallagher. <laughs> Some ask Jolene Boggy, our school nurse, to please come forward. It's my, uh, on behalf of Jolene, it's my aunt, who's our coordinator of the Red Cross Blood Drive to present this year's American Red Cross High School Scholarship. Beckman Catholic High School had a successful blood drive this spring. 
And based on the number of units of blood collected, the American Red Cross awards a $250 scholarship to Beckman Catholic. The recipient must be a graduating senior and an active participant in the school's blood drive program. The recipient of this year's scholarship has been a generous donor throughout his high school years. We congratulate Trent Barnes. The Dutrack Academic Scholarship is presented to a senior who is in good standing at the Dutrack Credit Union and is intended to recognize Dutrack Community Credit Union members who have demonstrated scholastic excellence and who are continuing their education at a community college, trade school, technical college, or university. This year's Beckman Catholic Senior recipient of the Dutrack Academic Scholarship is Mia Myers. This time I'd ask Jane Wells if she is here to please come forward on behalf of Mercy One. The Mercy One Medical Center Nursing Scholarship uh, recipients are chosen by class rank, ACT scores, GPAs, letters of recommendation, a personal essay, and volunteer activities. In addition, they must be accepted into college with a plan to study nursing. Mercy One has attained the highest standard of nursing excellence, resulting in the very best patient outcomes. Mercy One is proud to sponsor five high school scholarships each year. The Mercy One Medical Center Nursing Scholarship is awarded to Abby Napper. The Community Foundation of Northeast Iowa is awarding a scholarship to a Beckman Catholic senior with a cumulative grade point average of 3.75 or better, who lives in Clayton, Delaware, or Dubuque County, and plans to attend a two or four year college. The James W. and Javon E. Maxwell Memorial Scholarship is presented to Mia Myers. This time I'd ask Megan Borwald on behalf of Victory Ford to please come forward for the Victory Ford Scholarships. The Victory Ford Fueling the Dream Athlete of the Year Scholarship is based on hard work, leadership, school involvement, and academics. Only those chosen as Victory Ford's Athlete of the Month are able to apply for this scholarship. Please join us in congratulating the 2023 Victory Ford Dream Athlete of the Year Scholarship recipient, Trista Schmidt. Victory Ford also awards the Fueling Your Future Scholarship it is des designed. It's designed to help students prepare for their future educational endeavors at a college or university. The Victory Ford fu Fueling Your Future recipient from Beckman Catholic is Tessa Tauke. The Iowa Governor's Academic Scholar Award recipient represented Beckman Catholic at the ceremony with the governor in Des Moines on April 30th. The Iowa Governor's Academic Scholar Award representative for the class of 2023 is Joseph Schneider. <laughs> KWWL Television and the University of Iowa co-sponsored the Best of the Class Award. During the months of May and June, KWWL will feature top graduating seniors who are role models of academic excellence at their school. Beckman Catholic student featured by KWWL is Tessa Tauke.
Be sure to watch Tessa on KWWL Channel 7 from Waterloo. The Des Moines Register publishes an annual academic all-state recognition edition each year. Each Iowa high school is allowed one nomination based not only on outstanding academic accomplishment, but also on the students' background, talents, and contributions to their community. Beckman Catholic's Des Moines Register All-State Academic Award recipient is John Paul Grebner. This time I invite Mr. Todd Troutman, our Athletic Director, back to the stage to award the E. Wayne Cooley Award and the Bernie Sago Award. The E. Wayne Cooley Scholarship Award was established in 1993 as a tribute to the man who served as the Executive Director of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union from 1954 through 2002. The recipient of this award is recognized as being representative of the most elite of the superlative Iowa girl, not only on the playing field, but also in the classroom, in her school, and in her community. Her profile will reflect discipline, perseverance, character, citizenship, and leadership, which personified the life and expectations of E. Wayne Cooley. The 2023 Beckman High School E. Wayne Cooley Award winner is Trista Schmidt. Bernie Sagal Award was instituted by the Iowa High School Athletic Association in honor of the longtime executive director, Bernie Sagal. It is presented annually to the graduating senior who exemplifies a patriotic spirit with strong religious and moral convictions, living and professing the qualities of honesty, integrity, and sportsmanship, believing that both games and life should be conducted by the rules. The 2023 Beckman Catholic Bernie Sagal Award winner is Alex Hagman. This time, will the Beckman Park Department representatives please come to the stage to present their awards. We will start with the Art Department Award by Mr. Wade. Good morning. My name is Mr. Wade and I am the head of the Art Department. It is with great pleasure and great pride that I get to announce this year's winner of the Art Award. This award is given to hardworking and dedicated art student who has been involved in the art department throughout their high school career. Every year this is a challenging task as there are many talented and creative students here. This year I was blessed with many talented and hardworking seniors, each expressing themselves in unique ways. This made this decision all the more difficult. This year's recipient has been an active member of the art department for their entire time here at Beckman. They have always had a positive and fun attitude while encouraging others along the way. They have been an outstanding leader and role model for other students as well as leaving behind a strong legacy and new traditions for us to build on. This year's Art Award recipient is Claire Olberding. <laughs> Representing the Agricultural Industrial Arts Department, this is Don Hauser. Good morning. The outstanding ag student has a pure heart for serving others within our very own ag education program. They have taken every ag class offered here and have given back to the program as a teaching assistant this semester, being very helpful. Congratulations, Grace Kelly. I get to wear two hats, so I also will be presenting the Industrial Tech Award. He is a wonderful young man that doesn't always give himself credit for what he is capable of achieving. He will be successful in the future for sure, and I can't wait to see what he achieves. He is extremely detail-oriented and has a Mr. Fix-It attitude with I'm going to do it right the first time, every time. He will go very far in his future endeavors. Congratulations, Garrett Stelkin.
I'd ask Mrs. Thomason on behalf of the English department to please come forward. Good morning. Each year we recognize a student who has shown a keen interest in English while here at Beckman with a desire to continue that growth in his or her future. This year we have the pleasure of recognizing two such students. Current and former teachers will remember this first student as dedicated, passionate, and caring with a relentless effort toward improving. She has a profound understanding of the language and an impressive command over various writing techniques. The student is a true lifelong learner who will make an amazing future educator. This year, the English department recognizes and congratulates Trista Schmidt. We equally recognize a second student today. This student is driven by curiosity, always has enthusiasm to learn and discuss. He has a great sense of humor and a unique writing style. We always see you with a book in hand and we applaud your wide range of literature choices. We know you will keep reading and keep thinking. This year, the English department recognizes and congratulates Benjamin Westoff. <laughs> I would ask Ms. Dirks to present the Journalism Awards. Today, Stephanie Cortez and Gracie Heinrichsen are being recognized with the Journalism Award in honor of their work as members of the written communication team. They've been responsible for taking photos, meeting yearbook deadlines, and publishing monthly articles in the Byersville commercial. These young, men, young women will be remembered for their teamwork, enthusiasm, and dedication. The highlight of their legacy will be crafting the first full swim yearbook spread. For two years, they have quietly steered the team. Moving forward, I will miss them, but great things await them. In honor of their work on the written communications team, please take a moment to applaud Stephanie and Gracie. Mr. Carroll, on behalf of the math department, will present the math award. The math department award goes to a graduating senior who has achieved high academic average in four years of math classes, has been actively involved in the math club, and intends to pursue a degree in the math field. This year's award goes to Joe Schneider. Ask Mr. Corey to please come forward on behalf of the Social Studies Department. Good morning, my name is Dan Corey representing the Social Studies Award. And uh, this year we had some pretty tough candidates to uh, try and distinguish who was gonna receive this because we had so many wild and crazy things going on this year. For example, first semester in government, <coughs> excuse me, we had a pretty exciting game of Cory Land. And uh, I believe it was Luke Bowie had to get a one on his dice, threw it off the ceiling, Later in one for their team to win. Second, we had a pretty interesting debate where a kid quoted Billy Madison, chewing out another kid. And the third and probably the most distinguished one was a uh, senior in his debate last year quoted <laughs> Abraham Lincoln being a founding father. <laughs> so after all that consideration, this year's Social Studies Award winner had a four on his AP History test, received all A's in Social Studies, and completely dominated Coryland 
This year's winner is John Paul Grebner. This time we ask Mrs. Kleesner to present awards on, on behalf of the science department. We also have a surprise guest this morning on behalf of the Science Department. That is Alexa Groff. She's the director of the State Science and Technology Fair of Iowa. So she'll be presenting some awards alongside Mrs. Kleesner. So we're going to start with the surprise awards. So as I said, we're pleased to have Alexa Groff, who's the State STEM Educational Specialist, Iowa State University, and the Director of the State Science and Technology Fair of Iowa with us this morning. Today, Iowa State University, which is Iowa's STEM Council, and Iowa 4-H would like to recognize some students for their science research projects, in particular, Mr. Joseph Schneider. So, Joe, if you could come forward, please. Joseph has been involved in science research for five years, which is such a wonderful achievement, five years of dedication, anything is worth celebrating. It's hard, but also rewarding. We're also we are talking five years of science research. That's five years of improving our knowledge, our skills, and most importantly, our world. This year, Joseph qualified at the State Science and Technology Fair in Ames with his project titled Structural and Flammable Attributes of Monoanonium Phosphate and Sodium tetro Tetraborate Pressure Treated Wood Phase 3. Got that right, didn't I? Okay. <laughs> That's good practice when I got to do names at graduation, too. Throughout his research journey, he has been met with his successes, failures, and we know the occasional, what in the heck is this or that? He, like many others of you, have met others who have a passion for STEM research from across the state. Soon, Joseph will be able to meet others from across the country and across the world. We're honored and excited to have Joseph representing Iowa at the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair, and also proud of Beckman Catholic High School being represented at the international level. Joseph will be traveling to the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair in Dallas, Texas, May 13th through the 20th, and he will be presenting his research among 1,600 finalists from over 80 different countries, and competing for over $6 million in prizes. It's an honor to be selected and an honor to be among some of the best and the most fascinating people in the world, and Joe will be joining the 66th class of finalists from Iowa. This says a lot about the research that goes on here at Beckman Catholic, and these skills are important ones that students will use every day for the rest of their lives. Critical thinking, problem solving, and communication skills. Iowa State University, Iowa 4-H, and the Iowa STEM Council are proud to present Beckman Catholic High School and Joseph Schneider with this banner to be hung in the school to show what amazing STEM research achievements have been accomplished. Joseph, congratulations. I'm Cheryl Kleesner and I'm here representing the Beckman Science Department. We have a very talented and creative group of seniors in this auditorium today. Seniors, you have solved many problems both in and out of the classroom. You may have also created a few problems along the way as well. <laughs> we congratulate you, the entire senior class, as every one of you will take science into your everyday lives by finding ways to make better engines, provide quality food, fix broken bones, design new materials, support the community, and guide a younger generation. Today we will recognize special science achievements. The first award I would like to announce is the Outstanding Science Student Award from the Iowa Academy of Science and Beckman Catholic High School. This award is presented to one student from each member high school in the state of Iowa. The OSA Award is a bronze medal cast with the logo of the Iowa Academy of Science. Students receiving this esteemed award are nominated by their high school and selected by the Academy based on the following criteria. Graduating senior, top person of their class, maintained high academic standing, have taken science classes for a minimum of eight semesters, including chemistry and higher level coursework. 
They are actively involved in science beyond the classroom. Beckman Catholic High School is proud to award the 2023 Outstanding Science Student designation to Tessa Telke. <laughs> Tessa has been involved in many extracurricular science activities throughout her years at Beckman. Tessa is a two-time National Agri Science Champion and was reserve champion for 2022. She's a three-time BioGenius Scholarship recipient, attended the International Science and Engineering Fair, presented her research at many fairs and symposiums, and has helped younger students throughout her years at Beckman. Congratulations, Tessa. Our second award is the Science Department Award, which is presented to a student who has maintained high quality work in science classes, demonstrated interest in labs and activities, has contributed to science at Beckman, and has a passion for solving problems. Science encompasses everything from agriculture, material design, and health, to engineering and physics. Many of our seniors are qualified for this award and reflect the qualities listed. Students in the senior class were invited to apply for the department award and from these applicants, the faculty determines a recipient. It's a very hard decision. We have many talented people. This year's award winners have maintained high academic quality in the classroom and go beyond by sharing their expertise with underclassmen in the community as a whole. They have inspired others through their enthusiasm and passion for solving problems. They are curious and look beyond the obvious to find answers to their questions. The first science department faculty, the science department faculty presents the first science department award to Joseph Schneider. <laughs> the second science department award for 2023 is presented to Elizabeth Knipper. present the next award. We have about five students that volunteered to be able to assist out with the LaSalle Elementary School's track meet. If you were volunteered to be out there from about 9 to 10.30, if you would please make your way out to the uh, track and the soccer or the track and football complex at this time. Now I would like to ask Mrs. Ethel Garay, our Spanish teacher, to please present the Spanish Foreign Language Award. Good morning. Good morning. For me, it's a great pleasure to uh, teach Spanish in a Beckman school. Uh, have a new language, no, it's easy. It's so hard. And I want to say congratulations for my all Spanish students today, and especially for Tessa Tech. <laughs> And Mr. McGrain will present the Campus Ministry Award. The Service Leadership Award is given to a student who throughout their four years, student or students who throughout four years has shown leadership through service specifically through the Campus Ministry Program at Beckham Catholic, um, whether it's be class retreats, kairos, and especially on um, our weekly masses. This year's recipients are Claire Obening and Evelyn Sadler. So I'm going to ask Mr. Doug Mackey, our theater director, to please come forward to present the Fall Play and Spring Musical Awards. Hi. Hey. Um, so for the seniors, uh, for the uh, play 
the play that goes wrong and Footloose the Musical, Ms. Bessler and Jeff Jock and I create a tremendous challenge and lots of problems for the students to solve and then we nudge them to solve them brilliantly. And so, for the, oh sorry, here I go. Oh. For the Fall Play Award, the recipients for an outstanding performance is Evelyn Sadler and for the outstanding performance Actress is Claire Oberlin. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Because see, they're both awarded for the Footloose and the play that goes wrong. Okay? So for Footloose, outstanding performance of a Performer and dancer is Libby Knipper, and I guess her name is Elizabeth. You'll have to forgive me because I don't know these people's full names. I know them only by their nickname. And then for a best actress, Claire Oberdeen. speed it up. If you hear your name, come up on stage. And if I pronounce it incorrectly, come up anyway. If you're not here, don't worry about it. So, for the play that goes wrong, I need Claire Oberdeen. She's here. I need Evelyn Sadler. She's here. Keep, you gotta you got keep holding on to this. Okay, Jeremy Braun, Chloe Bedkin, Sophia Klosterman, Klosterman, Zach Heil, Paige Dahlmeyer, Emma Barrett, Bowen Bowen. If you hear your name, come on up. <coughs> what? Owen is not here because he's in the under class. He's one of our new young performers. Okay. All right, now, Joe. Hey. El Cookie. And of course, I have a double award for ASAP. For Andrew. Oh. How you doing? Can you all hear me? Joe, artist worker. Jeremy, best supporting actor. Chloe, where are you? Best supporting actor. Sophia, best supporting actress. Zach Heil, best supporting actor. Paige Dahlmeyer, are you here, Paige? Oh my god, outstanding performer and juggler. Emma Barrick, outstanding performer and flag person. Okay. Forget him. <laughs> Zach, artist worker. This goes for actually both shows. And, oh, I gave you. Okay. Um, thank you very much. The cast of The Play That Goes Wrong. Now, hang in there. I also have awards for Footloose. Adam Gall. Come on down. Are you here? We're going to litter up the stage and make it beautiful. Are you guys having a good time this morning? This is a long award ceremony. Ethan Becarer. How did I do with that one? See, I, I really never call these people by their full name. It's, it's really hard to do. Especially when they have character names. Cole. Lums, Lensman, <laughs> Lensman, <laughs> Teresa Braun, Evelyn Sadler, she's already here. I think Teresa is doing something important like taking an SAT class. No, yes. 
Coal, hardest worker. Oh, best new performer in a lead role. Adam, best supporting actor. Oh my God, I gotta go down here. Jeremy, best supporting actor. Sophia, best supporting actress. Chloe, best supporting actress. Zach, best leading actress. Where's, where is Emmy? She's in the AP test. I'm taking these tests, okay? <laughs> so that they can go forward. Teresa Braun, Emmy, and Evelyn Sadler, hardest worker. I think I covered it all. Did I cover it all? Do I have all of you? Thank you. This is I might ask Mrs. Tammy Simon Fern, representing Northeast Iowa Community College, to please come forward. 56 of the 69 seniors earned dual credit, dual credit high school and college credit by taking courses with Northeast Iowa Community College. As your name is called, please come up to the stage and you will be awarded a certificate. We'll ask you that you come up this side over here, receive your certificate, and we'll just keep the we'll keep a flow process going. So as your name is called, please come forward. Students earning three college credits from Northeast Iowa Community College and High School are the following. Lucas Bogey, Yuan Cho, Robert Kronwagi, Yat Yi Sang, Trent Arns, Brett Burlidge, Ryan Funky, Arturo Venegas, Aaron Jang, Isaac Westhoff, Brady Bachenstead, Joel Mauricio, Olivia Menson, Nate Offerman, Mary Reed, Isabella Schuchert, Shea Steffen, Nicholas Wolfpool, Lauren Cherney, Jake Hafler, Charlie Wolfpool, and Grace Heinrichsen. Students earning 12 to 15 credits while at Beckman Catholic include the following. Ian Brown, Stephanie Cortez, Michael Dinan, Hunter Douglas, Patrick Gallagher, Caden Gassman, John Paul Grebner, Alex Hagman, Elizabeth Kerper, Abby Knapper, Lillian McDermott, Claire Oberding, Shelby Pierce, Spencer Ray, Luke Schultz, Trista Schmidt, Joseph Schneider, Leah Thier, Adam Wedower, Aiden Wessels, Benjamin Westhoff, Elise White, Samuel Croffel, and Gavin Davis.
Students earning 16 to 24 credits while student at Beckman Catholic include Addison Burlidge, Grace Helly, Jenna Lansing, Mia Myers, Hannah McDermott, Ellie Raker, Evelyn Sadler, Tessa Tauke, Jordan Thier, and Elizabeth Knipper. Northeast Iowa Community College is also pleased to recognize the following students as Last Dollar Scholars. So as your name is called, please come forward. Stephanie Cortez, Caden Gassman, Adam Wetterwer, Isabella Schuchert, Benjamin Westhoff, and Nicholas Wolfkohl. Give all these students a round of applause. <laughs> Beckman Catholic seniors who have achieved a seven semester cumulative grade point average of 3.50 to 3.74 or better, or, or, or 3.74, excuse me, are designated as graduating with honors. These students will be identified at commencement by wearing a medallion with a green sash. As your name is called, please come forward and receive your medal. So again, we'll keep that just like we did previously. So Grace Helly, Jake Hafler, Abby Knapper, Olivia Menson, Nathan Offerman, Landon Raker, Mary Reed, Luke Schiltz, Aiden Wessels, and Charlie Wolfkohl. Following Beckman Catholic seniors who have achieved a seven semester grade point average of 3.75 to 3.95 are designated as graduating with high honors. These students will be identified at commencement by wearing medallion with a white ribbon. Brady Bockenstead, Lucas Borgian, Ian Brown, Michael Dinan, Hunter Douglas, Alex Hegman, Sage Klosterman, Molly Cruzy, Yat Yi Naomi Sang, and Isaac Westhoff. Following Beckman Catholic seniors who have achieved a seven semester grade point average of 3.96 or higher are designated as graduating with distinguished honors. Students will be identified at commencement by wearing a medallion with a gold ribbon, so please come forward as your name is called. Addison Burlidge, Lauren Cherney, Stephanie Cortez, Gavin Davis, John Paul Grebner, Grace Heinrichsen, Elizabeth Kerper, Elizabeth Knipper, Samuel Crawford, Jenna Lansing, Mia Myers, Hannah McDermott, Lillian McDermott, Claire Olberding, Shelby Pierce, Spencer Ray, Shay Steffen, Ellie Raker, Evelyn Sadler, Trista Schmidt, Joseph Schneider, Tessa Tauke, Jordan Thier, Leah Thier, Adam Wedewer and Elise White.
President's Award for Educational Excellence was presented to this same group of seniors, all seniors with a grade point average of 3.5 or higher during Catholic Schools Week as well. So we want to congratulate you on that honor as well. At this time, we will recognize each senior individually, um, recognizing their future plans and also announcing items that we did not have a presenter for that we've received information from today. So Trent Arms, and so as I call your name, please stand, and then I would ask that you hold your applause till we finish all students. Trent plans to attend Hawkeye Community College in Waterloo to study HVAC. He has received a last dollar scholarship from Hawkeye as well. Isaac Barrick is planning to attend Northeast Iowa Community College in Piasta to study welding with a last dollar scholarship and also a National Signing Day scholarship. Brady Bockenstead plans to attend the University of Iowa to major in industrial engineering he has also received the Dubuque County Deputy Sheriff Academic Scholarship here in the Beckman Catholic Academic Letter. Lucas Bogey is planning to attend Hawkeye Community College in Waterloo to study HVAC and auto body and has received a last dollar scholarship. Noah Bogey is planning to attend Kirkwood Community College in Cedar Rapids to study HVAC. Lucas Borgerding plans to enter the workforce to work in construction and farming. He has earned an Iowa FFA degree as well as the Beckman Catholic Academic Letter. Ian Brown plans to attend the University of Wisconsin Platteville to major in data science. He has earned a UW Merit Scholarship. Addison Burlidge plans to attend the University of Iowa to major in computer science and engineering. She's also been awarded the Gears Newman Catholic Center University of Iowa Scholarship, the Electrical and Computer Engineering Excellence Scholarship, and Iowa Merit Scholarship, is a National Honor Society member and also earned a Beckman Catholic Academic Letter. Brett Burlidge plans to attend Kirkwood Community College in Cedar Rapids to study HVAC and is also the recipient of the Grinnell Mutual Insurance Scholarship. Lauren Cherney plans to attend Iowa State University to major in food science and biosystems engineering. She has also earned the Ambassador Kenneth Quinn World Food Prize Scholarship, the Arlene and Harlan Estes Agricultural Scholarship, achieved her Iowa FFA degree, and also earned a Beckman Catholic Academic Letter. Yuan Ella Cho is planning to attend the Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Science in Boston, majoring in biochemistry. She has earned the MCPHS International Student Scholarship, the Ambassador Kenneth Quinn World Food Prize Scholarship, and an ac ac academic letter from Beckman Capital. Stephanie Cortez plans to attend Loris College in Dubuque, majoring in biology and psychology. She has earned the St. Joseph Scholarship, the St. Catherine Award, the Loris Early Acceptance Award, the St. Mar Martin de Porres Award, a First Generation Scholarship, Civic Leaders Award, Future Scientific Award, an Essay Advisor Award, is a National Honor Society member and achieved a Beckman Academic Letter. Gavin Davis plans to attend Kirkwood Community College in Cedar Rapids to major in Business Administration. Michael Dynan plans to attend Kirkwood Community College in Cedar Rapids to major in Construction Management. He's been awarded a Last Dollar Scholarship and also has achieved a Beckman Catholic Academic Letter. Students, by the way, if you're noticing that something's missing on these lists that we didn't read, so everything we awarded this morning I'm not reading again, but if there's something missing, please let us know so that we can correct this because this is information that will be in the commencement program as well. Evan Domeyer plans to enter the workforce and is employed at Double D Dairy. Hunter Douglas plans to attend Grandview University in Des Moines to major in athletic training. He has earned or, or been awarded the Grandview University Men's Scholarship, scholar, excuse me, the Men's Soccer Scholarship and Grandview University's Presidential Scholarship along with a Beckman Catholic Academic Letter. Ryan Funky plans to attend Kirkwood Community College in Cedar Rapids to study Advanced Welding Technology. He's been awarded a Last Dollar Scholarship as well as a Beckman Catholic Academic Letter. Patrick Gallagher plans to attend Northwest Missouri State University in Marysville, Missouri to major in psychology. He's also earned the Northwest Missouri State Tower Scholarship, the Northwest Missouri State Men's Basketball Scholarship as well. Hayden Gassman plans to attend Northeast Iowa Community College in Piasta to major in business administration and has been awarded a last dollar scholarship. John Paul Grebner plans to attend Iowa State University to major in Agricultural Systems Technology. He has uh, been awarded the Ambassador Kenneth Quinn World Food Prize Scholarship, the Dwayne Hinkle Agricultural Scholarship. He has earned his Iowa FFA degree, is a National Honor Society member, 
an American Legion Boy State participant, and also had a Beckman Catholic academic letter. Alex Hegman plans to attend the University of Iowa to major in business analytics and informational science. He has been awarded the Iowa Scholar Award, is a National Honor Society member, and also had a Beckman Catholic academic letter. Grace Helley plans to attend the University of Wisconsin Platteville to major in agriculture education. Grace has also been awarded the University of Wisconsin Platteville Merit Scholarship, the Delaware County Water and Soil Conservation Scholarship, Farm Credit Services of America Scholarship, State Science and Technology Fair of Iowa Scholarship, is a National Honor Society member, earned the Beckman Catholic Top of the Class Scholarship, was a Borlaug Scholar from 2019 to 2022, and also earned her Iowa FFA degree. Grace Heinrichsen plans to attend the University of Iowa to major in echocardiology. She has uh, been awarded the Gores Newman Catholic Center University of Iowa Academic Scholarship, is a National Honor Society member, and also achieved a Beckman Catholic Academic Letter. Jake Hafler plans to attend Hawkeye Community College in Waterloo to study diesel technology. He's also been awarded the Dubuque County Dairy Association Scholarship, the Midwest Dairy Scholarship, uh, earned his Iowa FFA degree and had a Beckman Catholic academic letter. Aaron Lucy Jane is planning to attend Iowa State University to major in biochemistry. Elizabeth Perper plans to attend the University of Iowa to major in psychology and neuroscience. She has also earned the, Ger the Goers Newman Catholic Center University of Iowa academic scholarship, is a National Honor Society member, and earned a Beckman academic letter. Sage Klosterman has entered the workforce and is employed by Denver Dirt Company. Abby Knapper plans to attend Mount Mercy University in Cedar Rapids to study nursing. She has also earned the Iowa Farm Bureau Scholarship, is a National Honor Society member, and earned a Beckman Catholic academic letter. Elizabeth Knipper plans to attend Iowa State University to major in graphic design. She has also been awarded the Laura and Eli Eric Presidential Scholarship was a National Agri-Science Food Products and Processing Systems Division III winner, National Agri-Science Food Products and Processing Systems Division IV winner, Iowa Biotech Leaders Scholarship, Iowa Junior Science and Humanities Symposium Scholarship, National Junior Science and Humanities Symposium Scholarship, State Science and Technology Fair of Iowa Scholarship, Engineering Science and Engineer, sorry, International Science and Engineering Fair Scholarships in 2021 and 2022, an Iowa USTA Scholarship, earned her Iowa FFA degree as a National Honor Society member and also achieved a Beckman Catholic academic letter. Mason Kelker plans to enter the workforce and is employed at Electrical Concepts with an electrical apprenticeship. Levi Copeman has entered the workforce and is, as, as, and is employed at Harvest Hills Incorporated. Samuel Croffel intends to attend Iowa State University's College of Engineering to major in Agricultural Engineering and Agricultural Systems Technology. He has uh, been awarded an Ambassador Kenneth Quinn World Food Prize Scholarship, also has been awarded Iowa State University's Forever Scholarship, is a National Honor Society member, and also achieved a Beckman Catholic academic letter. Rob Kromlogge plans to enter the workforce to begin an electrical apprenticeship and also earn a Beckman Catholic academic letter. Molly Kruse plans to attend Wartburg College in Waverly to major in music therapy and has earned a Beckman Catholic academic letter. Jenna Lansing plans to attend Wartburg College in Waverly, majoring in biology and pre-dental studies. She has also uh, been awarded a Wartburg College Academic Visit Day Scholarship, the Wartburg's Regents Scholarship, a Wartburg Scholarship Day Attendance Award, an Alumni Referral Award from Wartburg as well. Mia Myers plans to attend the University of Iowa to major in Business Analytics and Informational Systems. She has uh, been awarded the Iowa Scholars Award, the Gares Newman Catholic Student Center University of Iowa Academic Scholarship, the Community Foundation of Northeast Iowa's James and Javon Maxwell Memorial Scholarship, the National Honor Society member, and also a Beckman Catholic Academic Letter. Joel Mauricio is currently undecided of where he is attending but intends to major in psychology and marketing. Hannah McDermott plans to attend the University of Northern Iowa to major in speech language pathology. She has also been awarded the UNI Academic Scholarship, is a National Honor Society member, and has earned a Beckman Catholic Academic Letter. Lillian McDermott plans to attend the University of Northern Iowa to major in Forensic Nursing. She's also a National Honor Society member and achieved a Beckman Catholic Academic Letter. 
Olivia Menson intends to attend Iowa State University to major in agricultural studies. She has also earned the Ambassador Kenneth Quinn World Food Prize Scholarship and the Iowa Pork Producers Scholarship, achieved her Iowa FFA degree, and earned a Beckman Catholic academic letter. Adam Overbreckling plans to enter the workforce and is currently employed at FarmTech. Jackson Overbreckling is also entering the workforce and is employed at Burkle Construction. Jackson also earned his Iowa FFA degree. Nathan Offerman is planning to attend Kirkwood Community College in Cedar Rapids to study horticultural science and turf management. He has been awarded a Kirkwood Golf Scholarship and also earned a Beckman Academic Letter. Claire Oberding intends to, intends to attend Iowa State University to major in interior design. Claire also is a National Honor Society member and earned a Beckman Academic Letter. Shelby Pierce is attending the University of Northern Iowa to major in speech language pathology. She has been received the academic scholarship from UNI, is a National Honor Society member, and also earned a Beckman Catholic academic letter. Spencer Ray intends to attend Iowa State University to major in agricultural engineering. He has received the Ambassador Kenneth Quinn World Food Prize Scholarship, earned his Iowa FFA degree, is a National Honor Society member, and also earned a Beckman Catholic academic letter. Ellie Raker plans to attend Iowa State University to major in dietetics. She has also received the R. Catherine Tauby Endowed Scholarship, a World Food Prize Award in 2023, earned her Iowa FFA degree, is a National Honor Society member, and also earned the Beckman Catholic Academic Letter. Landon Raker plans to enter the workforce in farming and custom trucking. He also has earned the Beckman Catholic Academic Letter. Mary Reed plans to attend Loris College in Dubuque to major in psychology. She's a National Honor Society member and, and has also earned a Beckman Catholic Academic Letter. Evelyn Sadler plans to attend Warburg College in Waverly to major in music education. She's also received the Regents Scholarship, Meister Singer Muser Scholarship, is a National Honor Society member, and earned a Beckman Catholic Academic Letter. Luke Schultz plans to attend Lakeland College in Mattoon, Illinois to study business computer science. He has received a full athletic scholarship, is a National Honor Society member, and also achieved a Beckman Catholic Academic Letter. Trista Schmidt is planning to attend the University of Northern Iowa to major in elementary education. She has also uh, received the Panther Gold Scholarship, the MAPES Endowed Scholarship, a Delaware County Farm Bureau Scholarship, is a National Honor Society member, and also achieved a Beckman Catholic Academic Letter. Joseph Schneider plans to attend Iowa State University to major in chemical engineering. He has also been awarded an Iowa State University Engineering Merit Scholarship, was the American Legion Boy State participant, achieved his Iowa FFA degree, is a National Honor Society member, and also an academic letter from Beckman Catholic. Isabella Schuchert is attending Northeast Iowa Community College in Piazza to major in nursing. Shay Steffen plans to attend Capri College in Dubuque to study cosmetology. In addition to the items we listed earlier in the award ceremony, Beck, uh, Shay also has achieved a Beckman Catholic academic letter. Garrett Stalkin is entering the workforce and employed at Pops Incorporated. Tessa Tauke plans to attend Iowa State University for pre-veterinary studies, majoring in animal science. Tessa has been, also been awarded the Iowa Bio Futures, Future Biotech Leader Scholarships in 2021, 22, and 2023, an Iowa State Forever Scholar, the Delaware County Farm Bureau Scholarship, Iowa Farm Bureau Scholarship, the Ambassador Kenneth Quinn World Food Prize Scholarship, uh, was the Sister Mary Claire Scholarship Award recipient, earned her Iowa FFA degree, is a National Honor Society member, and also a Beckman Catholic academic letter. Jordan Thier plans to attend the University of Northern Iowa to major in elementary education. She has also been awarded the University of Northern Iowa Merit Scholarship, the Fairway Family Scholarship, an Innovative Agri-Services Scholarship, the Iowa American Legion Girl State Participant. She also was the Hobie Youth Leadership and Alumni Participant, a National Honor Society member, and earned a Beckman Catholic Academic Letter. Leah Thier intends to attend Iowa State University to major in Animal Science. She's also been awarded the Kaiser 4-H Scholarship, the Ambassador Kenneth Quinn World Food Prize Scholarship, achieved her Iowa FFA degree, is a National Honor Society member, and also achieved her Beckman Catholic Academic Letter. Yat Ying, Naomi Sang, is planning to attend Loris College in Dubuque to major in criminal justice and also received the Beckman Catholic Academic Letter. Arturo Veninguez 
plans to attend Warburg College in Waverly to major in kinesiology and physical therapy and has been awarded a Warburg College Opportunity Scholarship. Adam Wedderworth is attending Northeast Iowa Community College in Piazza to study accounting and business and also achieved his Beckman Catholic academic letter. Aidan Wessels plans to attend Kirkwood Community College in Cedar Rapids to major in business administration and management. Uh, he has been awarded a last dollar scholarship and also was an NHS member. Benjamin Westhoff is planning to attend Southwest Technical College in Fenimore, Wisconsin to study electrical power distribution. Isaac Westhoff plans to enter the workforce. He has also been a National Honor Society member and earned a Beckman Catholic academic letter. Elise White plans to attend the University of Iowa to major in business and finance. Elise has also been awarded the Iowa Scholars Award, the Gares Newman Catholic Student Center University of Iowa Academic Scholarship, is a National Honor Society member and also achieved a Beckman Catholic academic letter. Keaton Willenbringer intends to enter the workforce and is employed at Lumber Specialties. Charlie Wolf Cool is attending Kirkwood Community College in Cedar Rapids to study agricultural business and she is also a National Honor Society member. And Nick Wolf Cool plans to enter the workforce and is currently employed with Evergreen Lawn Care and Landscape. Let's give a round of applause to all of our students. Of 2023, please stand. Let's have you turn around and face the audience. Fellow students, parents, and guests, let's congratulate the class of 2023. You'll be the 57th graduating class of Beckman Catholic High School in a matter of about 10 days. At this time, this concludes our ceremony this morning. I do have a couple announcements that I need you to pay attention to before we dismiss for today. First off, if you were, if you attended the State Science and Technology Fair back in March, uh, Miss, Mrs. Groff is still here to present some additional awards to those students. So we would ask if you attended that to please remain in the auditorium. Seniors and parents, if you would like to mingle, um, are you seniors, are you doing anything with pictures this morning? Okay, so down in, you, you're welcome to come down to the commons to talk for a little bit, of, for a little while. Seniors, we would expect you to be in class by about 10.05, that's about 25 minutes. Um, but seniors and their parents, you're welcome to go down to the commons to visit with one another this morning. Otherwise, all other students, you should report back to class. I know we're running a little bit long, but I believe we are still in first period. So once again, thank you everyone for coming this morning.